now moving on let's talk about uh, the commodities and joining me today on the show is uh, Mr. Naveen Mathur, Associate Director, Commodity and Currency at Angel Broking. Now, before we actually move further, let's take a look first at the headlines. Now, overall, the volatility has actually creeped up and that basically has affected both the currencies and the commodities in large. If we look at what happened to the dollar index, now dollar index basically weakened slightly uh, to around 94.4 roughly, trading between 94 and 95. If you look at the currencies, uh, basically the sterling actually fell to two month low, broadly actually due to the Brexit fears, both euro and sterling, they have traded weak. Uh, if we actually talk about the commodities, uh, commodities basically WTI crude fell further, third consecutive uh, daily loss. Uh, also, um, this is despite the OPEC forecast of a lower oil surplus, which in effect is positive for the price, but uh, the volatility is actually playing a part on crude also. So there has been some profit booking uh, by the traders. If you look at the gold price, uh, that has hit one month high and also the ETF, the SPDR Trust Gold Holdings, that has gone up further. So investment demand continues to remain robust and that is supporting the gold price. And also if you look at uh, what happened uh, on the metal side, aluminum and copper, they actually traded well in green, uh, roughly 1-2% to 2 gains were seen there. And on the Indian agri commodities, we saw a lot of uh, gainers cotton, chana, soybean, mustard seed, all because of the seasonal impact, they actually saw any gains anywhere between 1 to 3 percent. So now let's uh, come back and talk to Mr. Naveen Mathur about first the cotton price. Now cotton commodity has been a rank outperformer since last few weeks. The price basically is 15 percent up uh, this year and also uh, we basically have seen that since uh, the supply has been limited, uh, the d demand actually uh, from the cotton company is actually supporting the cotton price. So, Mr. Mathur, uh, let's actually first understand what is driving the cotton price right now. Good morning, Piyush. Uh, you rightly pointed out that the cotton has been positive uh, throughout this particular year, largely because of the production estimates. Uh, earlier, if you remember, the Cotton Association came out with an estimate of 341 um, lakh bales uh, to, be, uh, to be produced this year, which was down from 342-343 lakh bales last year. So hence, the prices moved towards an upside trajectory. Technically, also, the markets are moving to an upside because we have seen prices uh, from the volume side from the last year June till this particular date, uh, the prices have moved upside because of these estimations. Uh, uh, but later on, if you see the sowing acreage of uh, cotton has been kind of normal versus the last year, uh, 1.118.18 uh, uh, lakh hectares of land has been gone under sowing acreage this year, which was largely the same as far as the last year is concerned. So I think overall pattern still remains slightly positive, not too much of the bullish trend to be continued from here for cotton, but still recommendation on the 19,300 levels would be to buy the cotton contract with the support of around 19,000 and uh, buy it at around 19,000 levels and that particular trade can be sold in a range of around 19,550 to 600 levels. Currently the prices are trading at around 19,200 to 230 levels. Right, which means uh, the trend actually remains positive. Uh, do you believe uh, that uh, the, this is more the season impact and perhaps as we move towards the July or August season, the prices could soften from here? I think so. There's not much of a steam left out. We can only see prices moving up to an extent of approximately 300 to 400 rupees from here. So whatever largely gain we have seen from last year, summertime still date has already been discounted and the factors, the fundamental factors of production both in India and international markets have already been discounted and not much of a scope from here onwards, but at least 19,650 to 700 levels can be seen in, in, a, in, in some days in the intermediate period. Okay, so cotton actually seems to be bullish. Now let's talk about China. Now, the Chana basically price performance, if you look at the chart, which should be coming on the screen, it has been a stellar outperformer. The price has been 45% up this year. 
and uh, again uh, basically the same reason there has been a limited supply and here you go look at the chart and look at the white line so that is basically telling you the NCDS China future and as almost uh, vertical uh, rise is being seen so uh, Mr. Madhu like uh, the China price performance um, has been like uh, almost uh, stellar very surprising so is it like because of very shortage of supply or uh, the demand actually has uh, surprised the market? It's, it's both ways. The lower supply and the firm demand has played a very critical role in the prices. Plus, the monsoon pattern also plays a kind of um, um, kind of um, um, factor to be looked into for the agricultural commodities. So, largely, uh, the factor which remains are supply and the economics of uh, demand. But at the same time, the weather factors too. So, I think together in all, all the three factors have taken the prices on the upside trajectory. We were expecting a good. Uh, a kind of a delayed monsoon, hence the prices took it off and uh, with the expectation the monsoon would come normal and beyond normal uh, more than the average estimation by the IMD and the SkyMed, the private forecaster, the prices have somehow I think stabilized or consolidated but still a rally to be seen and it's almost up by 3%, 2.5-3% from the July delivery expiry contract. So I think overall trend still remains slightly bullish by the contract at around uh, 6980 levels with a resistance of around 7130 intraday positions can be initiated for the july contract at around the same level of 6970 stop loss at around 6900 and targets on the upside can be seen in a range of around 7100 to 7150 Okay, so moment, momentum is expected to continue on the positive side. Now let's talk about the mustard seeds now. The mustard seeds again, uh, they ha it has been 11% up this year. Again, seasonality factor as Mr. Mathur was pointing out for China also. So Mr. Mathur, again, uh, mustard seeds have been doing well. Um, we again have stepped into now higher basically winter demand. So how are you looking at now mustard seeds? Absolutely, the industrial demand has come up quite well for mustard seeds and therefore whatever the prices we are seeing is anticipation of limited suppliers and the good demand from uh, of the oil from the industrial buyers. Therefore, we expect the prices to continue and trade higher and the strategy would be on the support level at around 4,740 7, oh, 4, levels to be bought in and sold at around 7,000. Uh, 4,830. The trading strategy for the intraday would be to buy the contract of July RMC on the NCDX at around 4,730, stop loss at around 4,680 and targets on the upside at around 4,830 to 4,840 levels. Right. So now let's actually move from the agri-commodity now to the natural gas. Uh, natural gas basically has done well, 12% uh, up this year, broadly since March and the prices have actually followed the crude price and if you look at the chart again, the chart looks quite good uh, but it's actually looking good since March, that's where actually the price started rallying. Uh, there have been some fall in the natural gas rig count also on the US side so which actually has supported uh, the price. So Mr. Mathur, uh, now actually the prices on the MCX, they have been uh, running up so now actually what, how are you looking at the natural gas price and actually would you think that the traders should actually continue to remain long and add long positions there? Uh, Piyush, uh, absolutely true what you said to start off on the natural gas. The, the rig count has decreased and decreased by 5 uh, to 87. So one is that particular factor. You also have to understand the warm season or the, or the hot season in the US which actually creates demand for the natural gas. What they say is the cooling degree days, the, the cooling degree days have hit an high in June in the last 10 years for approximately 52 as a number. I think uh, the, the hot season is continuing in the US, the warm weather would continue uh, as per the expectation from the 48 states in the US, the southern states of the US and with that the demand of natural gas may come up and hence we are seeing the prices moving on to a, uh, to a higher trajectory. Internationally they are at around 2.5 dollar levels currently we expect the prices to inch about 2.8 to 2.85 dollars and in Indian markets we are trading at around 173 rupee levels we can see prices at around 190 levels for the day that sounds uh, quite positive for natural gas 
Uh, so now since you are here with us um, and I know you have a good view on the sugar also and sh uh, sugar stocks in the equity markets they have been buzzing though the sugar price in commodity now actually is not uh, appreciating that well. So what's the view now on the sugar price at present? Do you think basically the last time when we were talking the range bound view actually still holds at present? Uh, we did see a range bound trend continuing from here but we have seen prices uh, expectation of the production downfall by around 12 percent earlier it was around 14 to 15 percent but now it's been estimated at around 11.7 to 12 percent with that uh, production estimates to be revised on the downward side we did see some kind of an upside trajectory building up for the sugar prices continue to be slight bullish on the sugar, therefore the July on the NCX, NCDX contract can be bought in at around 3580 levels, stop loss at around 3500 and targets on the upside can be seen in a range of around 3730 to 3740 levels. It's currently trading at around 3770 levels, so buy on the dips at around 3500. Okay, so sugar buy on dips. Uh, so basically, thanks a lot, Mr. Mathur, for all the strategies and Thank all you. the insights and all the commodities. So that's the word coming from uh, Angel Commodities and Mr. Mathur. So all the commodities we discussed, they broadly basically are actually facing good seasonal demand. And you, we, we talked about uh, sugar, we talked about uh, chana, mustard seeds, and also cotton. And they all basically are seeing good positive technical uh, longs also and also good seasonal demand also. So, time uh, for a short break. On the other side, we get you an exclusive interview with the market guru, uh, Anil Ahuja, CEO, IPAS Advisors. Stay tuned.